Mr. Gardner was pronounced dead at 12.17 this morning. Early Friday morning, five marksmen aimed their rifles at Ronnie Lee Gardner's heart as he sat here with the target pinned to his chest. Outside the prison, Gardner's family held vigil until they learned he was gone. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with uh, murder, legal murder. I don't agree with what he done. I don't agree with what they done, but uh, I'm relieved. I'm relieved that he's, that he's free. Among the witnesses to the execution, Associated Press writer Jennifer Dobner. It wasn't like a movie. It wasn't um, blood spatter and uh, chaos. It was quiet. It was clinical. A small group of protesters gathered at the Utah State Capitol, singing and praying for a stay that didn't come. I am here basically to say this is barbaric. It's not the people of Utah. Gardner had been on death row since 1985, convicted of killing attorney Michael Burdell during an escape attempt. This was the first firing squad execution since 1996. It may not be the last. Back in 2004, Utah switched to lethal injection as its method for executions, but those sentenced to die before that law change can still elect to have a firing squad. There are three men left on death row who have that choice. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Draper, Utah.